Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Ward at Life and Alignment Chiropractic here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. I'm a structural and upper cervical chiropractor, and on occasion I make videos and I post them online, so you're probably seeing this on Facebook or YouTube. You should check out my other videos, uh, which go under the name Alignment Matters. Uh, today we're talking about the case of a young man in his young 20s and his acute low back pain, and there's two main points I want to draw uh, from this video. Number one is that we don't always have to work where the pain is in order for us to get positive change in the spinal column. So I want to point that out because if you or someone you know is dealing with some ongoing issues and you're just not responding to care, uh, there's a possibility that uh, your provider's only working in the area where the pain is and that may not be getting the job done. Uh, the other thing I want to point out is that uh, you shouldn't stop when the pain goes away. Uh, and this is a perfect example uh, why that's the case. So go ahead and jump right in. Again, a male in his young 20s, uh, he's experiencing uh, acute low back pain, and he has an obvious unhealthy shift. Uh, the technique that was used, chiropractic technique that was used, uh, in this case is quantum spinal mechanics. So I'll point out a few things. You should see two images on your screen. Uh, the first image on your left is his pre-image. So this is his exam image. So he's in a lot of pain in this picture. He's trying to stand up as straight as possible. He's got acute low back pain on this left side. Point out the dysfunction here. He's got an elevation in his left hip. He's got a low left shoulder. His upper body is leaning over to the right. It's hard to see, but he actually has some rotation in how, his, how he's standing. There's some rotation forward of his left shoulder. Um, his neck is going over to the right, and his head is trying to counterbalance uh, back to the left. Places a lot of stress throughout his spinal column. So it makes sense that he would have a screaming low back, but I can also look at this image and say, eh, it also makes sense he might have a screaming pain behind his shoulder blade as well. Uh, the image on your right is immediately after his first correction. So this is several uh, minutes after the image on the on the uh, left and so what I want to point out is the difference in the hip height shoulder is still low and I want to point out the difference in the head head is not leaning as much to the left as it is uh, in this image over here and then it's hard to see because of uh, we're just looking at him from behind but he does have less rotation of this left front Okay, so believe it or not, he got up from the table and noted a decrease in his pain almost immediately, which was great. I'm very happy for that. Uh, and he could have probably stopped after the first couple of visits, uh, having come out of pain relatively quickly. The important point that I want to make here is that had he done so, he may have stayed in this position over here on the right side. And while it's better than it is on the left side, this is clearly better than this image over here, uh, he would still have some dysfunction in his spine, and he wouldn't look as good as his next image. So he worked with me for an additional uh, several weeks beyond that, and what we see is almost a complete resolution of his out-of-balance position, this stress in the spinal column. So his left hip uh, drops down fully, uh, looks pretty balanced here. His left shoulder uh, begins to become more balanced uh, with his right shoulder. This rotation that's happening forward on this left side uh, balances out. This is nice and flat here. Uh, the neck lean over to the right side begins to lessen, uh, and then the counterbalance of the head just basically doesn't need to happen anymore, so his head stays on the vertical axis. So in this image here, which is about approximately two months after June 6th versus uh, August 9th. Uh, you know, there's no low back pain, there's no issues, but we're still continuing to work on him to get him to this place here, right? Um, and we were able to do that because he didn't stop immediately after the pain went away. The other thing that I want to point out is all this was done by not touching him here, okay, or not touching him here, but rather by unlocking this area here, okay? So all of his care happened between the back of the skull and the top of the shoulder here. And we were able to do that uh, because of how the body is programmed uh, to balance itself out or rebalance itself out. Um, and so this is an important point to make. Where if you know somebody or you are dealing with some sort of issue, let's say here or here or here or even down in here, uh, it's very tempting for most providers uh, to work on this area or this area or this area. Uh, but that may not actually be getting the job done. Um, and so uh, we need to work with the spine from top to bottom, total global picture. Uh, and a lot of that can be done simply by correcting this area here. Okay, my name is uh, Dr. Zachary Ward here at Life and Alignment Chiropractic here in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Uh, if you'd like to know if you are standing like this young man is, you're welcome to give us a call at the number down here. If you call between 10 and 2, you will get my assistant. 
uh, who will be able to schedule you for a uh, free screening relatively easily. Uh, if you go to lacaro.com and go over to forward slash free, we do a certain amount of screenings per month. Uh, if you're seeing this and you're local to my area, you're welcome to see if you can get that uh, set up with us. Uh, again, we do about 12 per month. Uh, they can fill up relatively fast. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.